try to go after the nether. Got the nether. Let's try to go after the uh, the Aries. I need a heal here, otherwise I'm gonna die. Uh oh. Yikes, yikes, yikes. No, no, yes. Okay, so before we get started with today's video, I know many of you are trying to find the winners to the Ardent Imugi giveaway, which I did about a week ago. You can find the list of winners in the pinned comment. So the first comment under this video, there's gonna be a list of 100 winners. So congrats those winners. It usually takes about two to three weeks to get your prize, so please be patient. And uh, yeah, if you didn't win, make sure that you do stay tuned, um, you know, subscribe and also turn on all the channel notifications uh, because I will be holding another giveaway in a video format uh, for another 100 Ardent Emugis. That's going to be coming out probably within the next week or so. Uh, but yeah, make sure you stay tuned for that. And, um, you know, with that said, I guess let's get started uh, with these new weapons. So as you can see, we have the spike, the stake and the needle. They uh, kind of look like harpoons. And I believe they have a range of 150 meters. So really close range um, in terms of the description here. So heavy close quarter weapon launches a harpoon like projectile covered in special material that allows penetration of any uh, energy shields. More of it has an inbuilt Aegis shield generator. Hmm, I'm not sure about the whole Aegis shield uh, generator thing. You know, we kind of got rid of uh, shields and now we're bringing back Aegis shields. Yeah, you know what? I don't know about that, but we're going to be trying this out. Um, I do have it on the Arachi, the Skyros, uh, Ravana, Typhon, and also the Behemoth. I'm going to run two games, and I might mix up some of my builds for the second game. Uh, but otherwise, yeah, let's jump into a game, and let's see how deadly these weapons are. Okay, so we've just dropped in on Abyss map, and I have started with the Arachi first. I need to get some beacons here. You know, the thing is with this kind of build, or at least with these weapons, because they are like close range, you got to be very careful. Uh-oh, uh-oh. I just used the ability here. My thinking is if I can try to get like those beacons like early on, I can drop in with like the behemoth. Now keep in mind like 150 meters. Okay, we have one ability. Uh, someone just dropped in over here on this side. Let's try to maybe attack this guy. Let's see how much damage we do. Oh my gosh. Whoa. And to think this is like only like two of these weapons. So I guess the E just kind of helps because you need to get close, right? So I can kind of see that, you know, why they would do that. Oh my gosh, this guy's taking on a ton of damage. That is nuts. I need to heal here. Yikes, heal! Ah, oh, My last stand was triggered. And we got the scorpion there too. Okay, let's drop in with the Typhon. This might be very deadly with the Typhon. I can see that. How does it... Oh my gosh! Whoa! That guy's dead. The scorpion is going to be attacking me here soon. So I'm trying to back out of the 350 meter range. Maybe I can get him with the... Oh, no, wait. That didn't work. Oh, but I'm going to kill him. I think so, right? Look at his health. Yes. Man, this is going to make the Typhon really deadly. I can see that. Even the Scorpion and Revenant, I think, are going to be very, uh, very deadly with this. So, 150. Look at the guy's health. You went into stealth. You better start running. Yeah, that's not going to work. Oh my gosh. <laughs> These weapons are crazy strong. But I almost feel like you need, in a way, you kind of need that shield. Because you have to kind of get close. you got to keep that in mind too. Now, it is a bit too strong, you know, based on what I'm seeing here. The first round of testing, it was way too weak. Now we're like way too strong. We're <laughs> the other side of the spectrum. Look at how much damage I'm doing to like... That Heimdall. Ooh, we gotta drop in here with the Behemoth. Let's try this. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Can I still hit him like this? I guess I can, right? Gone. We just got him. What about this one? The Indra. Oh 
Come on. Maybe this one. I'm trying to kill this Indra with this build here. Uh, yes, Titan Slayer. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Yikes! He's getting harpooned to death. <laughs> He's trying to move around the corner. He's saving his abilities, what's happening. Um... I mean, we're still doing decent damage. I think I'm going to get killed. There's someone shooting at me from behind there, but still very deadly. Oh, you know what? This could actually be very deadly on the Ravana too. I can totally see that. Okay, let me get through the, uh, the teleport here. Ooh, he did a lot of damage to me. Let's try to get close here. We need to we need to take out this um this falcon if possible. We gonna do it? Maybe, I don't know. Yes, we got him. Is he gonna Yeah, oh shoot, he's gonna drop in here. It's only me versus a whole six. But at least we kind of get an idea of just how much damage, you know, these weapons do. Okay, so game two, we have dropped in on Shenzhen map. And I have started with the Scorpion first. Trying to get this Lynx here. I kind of dropped in like 40 seconds late. I think this guy's going to land soon. This one on the uh, right side. Let's go after this player. Imugi. If I can get him all the way down to his last stand, that would be good. Okay, last stand has been triggered. He's gone into flight. I might get this beacon. We'll see. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Wait, this is bad. Down to my last stand. Is he gonna kill... I think he's gonna kill me. He might. I'm trying to... Oh, man. So close. So close. Yeah, I think, you know what? I think the Scorpion and the Revenant might be pretty good, you know, with these weapons. Let's try to get this guy. I think this guy might be a Skyros or something, right? No, Scorpion. I got him. I got him. There we go. Nice. Is he going to drop in over here? Actually, wait. I think this is domination mode. Oh, no, no, no. Not the Ares. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Let's try to go after the nether. Got the nether. Let's try to go after the uh, the Ares. I need a heal here. Otherwise, I'm going to die. Uh -oh. Yikes, yikes, yikes. No, no. Yes. Maybe I can take out the, uh, the Typhon too. Rampage. And the Behemoth. Oh my gosh. These weapons are crazy. Oh my gosh. We took out the Behemoth too. Man, this is... This is a beast. We might be seeing more revenants. Um, I'm going to go after the Sharanga here. Let's see if we can do some damage to this guy. I think he's actually going to use a phase exile on me. I'm guessing, right? He can't hit me. I'm waiting for the phase. There we go. There we go. I knew that was going to happen. He keeps missing. His weapons are pointing at the ground. I need to heal quick. Heal! Oh, man. We were doing some crazy damage to him. We have a 5 cap now. I think this build I'm running right now might also be pretty deadly too. Yeah, let's, uh, let's move across here. I'm trying to get within range here of the Shiranga. Nice. Maybe I can get the Angler. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Got him. I'm trying to get within range of the uh, the mender, but this game is going to be over. 
uh, pretty soon here. I think that's going to be it. Man, that, that Revenant was killing it. I actually thought I was going to be dead, but I managed to kill like four guys after, <laughs> after I actually said that. So how did we do here? Two million damage, six kills, one beacon. And uh, this is how we stacked up. So yeah, in the comment section below, let me know what you guys think of these new weapons. You know, so far, I think they're doing a little bit too much damage. It's really hard to tell because the thing is, you have to get really close with these weapons. And I can kind of see why they applied the Aegis, but maybe the Aegis is a bit too much. Uh, let me know in the comment section what you guys think, uh, you know, of these weapons. And with that said, thank you guys for watching. And until the next video, I'll catch you guys later.